to bring Acquisitions Incorporated to Oz forever. Internally, we call this project Ozquisitions Incorporated. Oh yeah, absolutely. Australia has deserved AI for a number of years and they've been begging for it. I mean, I've been playing role-playing games since I was like in middle school and high school. And um, I've been going to PAX now for like, I way, I think like nine years, eight years. It just happenstance happened where I was doing a D&D &D game and my DM was Chris Perkins, who does AI. Jerry remembered meeting me at PAX, which was amazing because I barely remember what I did like five minutes ago. There's something happening. Hello. Alyssa, it's nice to meet you. Well, I feel like they Googled biggest Star Wars fan who ever lived, and then they couldn't find that guy, so they settled with me. I'm okay with it, because I love Star Wars. I'm a former history teacher, and now that I do this stuff for a living, uh, I take that energy and focus it on the stupid stuff like the lore behind Star Wars, which I love. Um, and so yeah, I get into games and whatever I'm into, I dig a little deeper. Right, going straight to the right. The idea to do Acquisitions Incorporated in um, a different setting came up, and I had just started playing the Edge of the Empire with my family. I was running it for Kara and my two boys, and we were having a lot of fun with it. I, I said as much last year. It's like, well, if we're not able to do it the regular way, then we have to do something special. Like, we have to found a new tradition down here that's just for Oz. We wanted to do it and wanted to do it, um, it just, we couldn't make it happen until now, and I love that it's Star Wars too, you know, it's not only is it the first AI down here, it's the first AI in a new um, game set. There's a lot to like about the, um, the Edge of the Empire system that is used in the Star Wars game. You can fail well or succeed poorly, which allows for a lot of pretty sophisticated um, storytelling to happen just dynamically at the table. Just down this way. It works really well as a family game, and I said, I could run it, I could run Edge of the Empire for Acking. And uh, I put my name in the hat, and everybody thought it was a good idea, and here I am. I, Star Wars is not my expertise at all. Like, I grew up with Star Trek, I was one of those people, but I, I played like Old Republic and all that, so it was pretty nerve wracking because I was like, ah. I don't, I mean, I basically know Star Wars, but it was, I mean, with I, I know all these guys and they're so welcoming and kind. Like, once you get up there, it's not even stressful at all. My relationship to PAX is that I've been since the second ever PAX, but I wasn't, you know, I was just like a teacher then. And so I came as a fan, it was fun. I played this game, Edge of the Empire, at least three other times. Now I'm up on stage and I am going to play some Star Wars. That's it. That's, that's what PAX is about from this year. Hello, PAX Australia. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. Mike is one of the best Dungeon Masters that I've ever played with, and I've played with a lot of Dungeon Masters. I worked with Jerry a little bit on sort of the setup for, because you know, it's, it's really all about Omen and his crew and the Minoc, and I wanted to get a feel for what he wanted that to feel like, what, what he wanted that game to be like, and then I completely changed it so that he didn't really know what was gonna happen. Uh, the Minoc has unfortunately been captured. But just started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a specific combination, I think, of I think the humor is definitely on point. Um, if Mike is at the table, trying to pull off something that feels written while you're making it up on the spot is 
a pretty good trick and he knows how to do it. He does the C team and even on the A team, he and Chris talk a lot. So Omen knows a lot more about what's going on in the A games than anybody else at the table. This is the one game that Omen doesn't know anything about. He has no idea what we're doing. So not only did you charm the pants off of this guy, but not you... literal. <laughs> well, if you want to use your advantage. <laughs> yeah. I've had an incredible week in uh, Melbourne and Australia, and everyone here has been amazing. And I came out alone and spent an entire week here, but I never felt alone. It's literally like, I mean, it's a dream for me to be able to play these games and just like show the joy that I have in these games and just these wonderfully nice people. And so now to wrap it all up with a, with a stellar PAX and a really exciting night, and it's been, it's been great. I'm really happy to be here. I genuinely feel so grateful to just be there and just be having a good time. So that's important to me. Push the lever Punching. forward. The stars turn to lines and you are on your way to Moncal. Thank you guys very much oh, for playing pleasure. Star Wars. Thank you guys very much. Nice job. Who knows you know, how this story will continue or when it will continue. I can think of a couple different ways that we could do it. This was a big deal for me, getting to move AI into the Star Wars universe. I'm a huge fan of the system. I had a really good time playing in it. I'm hoping we can do something like that again. I mean, they're on their way to Mon Cal right now, right? So they've got a holocron to pick up. There's definitely more story to tell with Akink in, in Star Wars. If people like it, then I'm happy to keep running with it.